are the largest ride manufacturer in the United States. We do a lot of what some people consider crazy stuff. We build 200 foot tall roller coasters, we build amphibious duck tour vehicles, we build trains that take you around zoos and, and merry-go-rounds for kids. You know, our products deliver fun for the world. It's a family business, you know, that's really what, what we're about, with the family being involved, the family ownership, and then we've had people here for so long. The employee base is very, very long term. This morning we had the birthday party for Dwayne, who is 80 years old, and uh, he retired about 15 years ago, but still comes to work every day. In our business especially, you have to have dedicated people that really care. My dad actually started in the manufacturing business right after World War II, but he came back and built uh, the miniature steam trains. He told me when we started building those in 1961, he said, if I ever build 10 of these, that'll be a big deal. And we've built almost 400 of them today. Well, every company has its ups and downs, and uh, we had a big downturn. Uh, 2000, 2001, where our business dropped off 60% in one year. As you say, it would have been easier probably to walk away from it. Every morning we'd kind of boost each other up because it was, there was some pretty tough times to go through and we both kind of looked at each other and said, hey, you never lose unless you quit and we're not quitters. It does speak to the, to the value of a family business too. I mean, it was tough. We were down, but we weren't out. We started meeting every day. That was our deal, and we still do that. He said it several times. I know I've said it several times that I couldn't have done it without him, and I think he'd say I couldn't do it. I couldn't have done it without you. And um, there's a lot of there's a lot of truth to that. The amusement business is built on, and always has been built on what's new. The parks every year. That's how they that's how they get people to come back. It's up to us to come up with the ideas to give to the parks that can help them grow. Even our customers, all things being equal, they'd rather buy a ride made in America. But they're also business people, right? So you still have to be competitive. Your product still has to make sense. They take pride in that. They like to put out in their press releases that they bought a ride that was made in America. So there's some, there's some strength and power to that. In 50 years of doing business, we have delivered every order that we've ever had to every customer. And as long as we can help our customers be successful and help them make money, then we will be successful. And I learned that from him.